Stuart Acuff has been a community and union organiser in the United States for a quarter of a century. Currently on a book tour organised by the TUC, one lesson which attracts the most attention is the tradition among American unions of organising home visits to try to recruit members. Basically, a home visit goes like this. Tell me what you do every day. Where do you work? And tell me what that's like. And sooner or later, that worker gets to what a jerk the boss is. Sooner or later. Because a lot of people think, well... You get paid to do something difficult. Well, no. You don't get paid to be treated like a piece of machinery. You don't get paid to be treated like a beast of burden. You don't get paid to be treated like someone's child. You don't get paid to be treated like a serf. When you validate the pain and anger that unrepresented workers all have, and you tell them that it is their right to demand it, if they're willing to do it in a collective fashion, and that we can do this thing if we do it together, but you'll never do it by yourself, then that is the beginning of, of, of someone becoming a trade unionist. Building trade unions has been Stuart Acuff's life's work, but he warns that gains made by the movement in the last five years are now under grave threat from those who see that movement as an obstacle to corporate profits. Look, they've done everything from voter suppression to uh, the assaults on, on organized labor state by state, to the assaults federally on organized labor. They've done everything they can to weaken organized labor because we're the last thing between the radical right and, and actually taking over the country. We're the last counterweight. And uh, if they defeat us, we'll lose our democracy. But ultimately, it's like Dr. King said, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., maybe America's great, maybe the greatest American said, um, the moral arc of history is long, but it bends toward justice. And of course, the ACUF addition to that is it bends further and faster the more of us who are pulling on it. <laughs>